But on this video, I am going to share with you the importance of a morning routine and what you can do. It is one of the key things that those who take charge of their life, create their life by design, it is exactly what they will start their day with. But first of all, here is a quick intro. As I was saying, today I am going to share with you the importance of a morning routine. Now I want you to think about this. This is just gonna be really easy, really generic, but just think about it. You start your day listening to your partner or your children or the television. Most people start their day looking at their phone, looking at other people's statuses, other people's messages. So instantly, at the very, very beginning of your day, you are reacting to things that are going on around you. Rather than being calm in control of yourself, you're starting your day by being reactive to others. So more often than not, this will continue right the way through your day, your week, etc., etc., etc. However, if you have a morning routine, and I know for a lot of you it's like, oh, morning routine, I find it so difficult to get up in the morning already. Hold on, guys, just watch this. Bob, ready? Oh, speak one in instead. Let's do Bob, please. Then I'll tell you. Oh, she's just getting both of them. Go on, Bob, get it. Get it. <laughs> Okay, so you're just seeing Fiki juggle between two choices in life. See, we practice what we preach even with the dogs. Choices in life. Ah, there he goes, he's got his now. <laughs> okay, so where was I? Morning routine. If you start your day by taking time for you, and as I was saying, I know for some of you it's like, oh, I find it hard enough getting up in the morning anyway. I just love staying in bed. I love hitting the snooze button. I hear you. I understand that. However, when you discover the joy of a morning routine and how different it makes your day, you'll be bouncing out of that bed ready to start that morning routine and you'll be excited about it. It's just creating a new habit. And I think they say there's different research about this, but between 21 days, some say 30 to 60 days to really enforce that new habit. So comment below if you wanna do this, if you wanna start your morning routine and I will help hold you accountable to starting your day your way. We've got another dog come over to visit us. Two seconds, another ball break. See, it's all about balance in life. Okay, so what can you do for your morning routine? Well, I recommend first and foremost, hello, first and foremost, oh, <laughs> start off your day with gratitude, with things that you can be grateful for, the very fact that you've woken up. Just be thankful. Start to think of three to five, maybe even up to 10 things every single morning that you are grateful for. And there is always something to be grateful for. It could be this beautiful view wherever you live. It could be the fact that there's water coming out your tap, you have the internet, you're breathing, you can see. I don't know, there's so much that you can be grateful for. So every single day, wake up and feel that appreciation, feel that thankfulness. Start off your day with gratitude. Then. I really recommend a bit of exercise, perhaps yoga or some meditation. Getting yourself into a calm, neutral state within your mind is very, very powerful to start off your day. Or some like some more vigorous exercise, going to the gym, going for a run, whatever it might be. That is a new fitness goal for me in 2019 is to add in some exercise into my morning routine. So you guys can help hold me accountable to that. So some exercise, definitely some yoga is also really, really powerful. We've just been out in Bali. We had the amazing Rebecca teaching us different ways to practice yoga and how that can uh, bring more balance into your life. So that's really exciting and something that I am going to bring into the morning routine. 
Next up is setting your intention for the day. So what is it that you want to get done in that day? Could be between three to five, seven or 10 things, but tasks that you are gonna focus on, they become your priorities through the day. That is your intent to get those tasks done and complete. And then of course, for many, we like to do some visualization. And if you speak to some of the most successful people out there, some of the happiest in this world, they have used this technique. It is visualization. Visualization, closing your eyes and seeing your future exactly as you want it to be. And of course, taking that time to be grateful for what we have in the meantime. It's never, oh, a lack of this, or I want something else. Be grateful on your way to whatever it is that you want. But when you visualize, shut your eyes and imagine exactly what it feels like to be living that life. If it's a new car that you want, what does it feel like to be in that car, to be driving it? What color are you going for? What does it feel like to pull up at the beach and go see your friends? I don't know, everybody's visualization is gonna be different. But start to think about your future. Start to visualize it, visualize it, see it. Some of you might have heard <laughs> Some of you might have heard that quote, "If you can believe it, you can achieve it." And of course, it takes a lot of aligned action along the way, but it's true. Thoughts become things. So start off your day with some visualization on exactly what you want your life to look like. So there are some bonus tips on how you can start your day your way and by taking charge of your day, by doing those things for yourself in the morning, you are much more likely to be happier, more positive, more productive, take more action during the day, during the week, during the month and therefore during your life. So that is the power of a morning routine. It can have such a dramatic difference on your life. So comment below that you're in and let's start making our mornings magical together. If you are not already, remember, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it for your daily notifications of inspiration, education, and motivation so that we can rise together. See you soon.